The horrific scene on 490 in Chai Lai this morning as a tour bus full of passengers flipped over, shutting down the area near Union Street. That's where we find Iran Spitzer. She's been on the scene all morning, and she now joins us live with the latest update from first responders. Iran. Michaela, we now know that there were 28 people on that bus. Now, one of them is the driver, one of them a child, and there's one victim that is in critical condition. Now, this scene is very much different than what it was this morning. It does appear that they're doing some accident reconstruction work at this time, but they estimate there were hundreds of first responders rushing here, 18 ambulances on scene. All hospitals in the area received patients, including Strong, Unity, Highland, and Rochester General, though most most people did manage to get away with minor injuries. When first responders arrived this morning, they found the bus flipped over and people walking along 490 in a state of shock and confusion. The bus started its route from New York City at midnight, making stops along the throughway. The final destination was going to be Niagara Falls. Authorities say the driver is cooperating, and initially they don't believe drugs or alcohol were a factor. Sheriff Todd Baxter says they train extensively for a mass casualty incident like this. I think it, it's surreal is probably the way they're going to describe or, or we're describing it and the fact that there were people out walking along 490 and of course you got a bus turned over on the side you got people possibly trapped we don't know who's on the bus yet uh, it was that surreal moment you know you train for these things but when you pull up and actually see a bus flipped on its side and people literally walking in a state of confusion on the side of the road trying to figure out what just happened to them uh, as they were just thrown about a, inside a bus right so uh, it, was, it was surreal it was it was it was things you trained for but you, you don't ever expect to see in your life Now we're told there's no cause known just yet for this crash. They are treating this like a criminal investigation, though authorities do stress that they don't believe there is a criminal aspect just yet. Um, but they do believe that this investigation will be a lengthy one. For now, reporting or on Spitzer News 8. Thank you, Iran. Your video certainly showing just how different that scene was this morning. This entire area closed to all traffic between exits three and four since very early this morning. Authorities say they are coordinating with families, trying to reunite them with their loved ones. If you are looking for someone, call the Family Liaison Office. We have that number here on your screen, 585-753-4455.